Now, Spooty does not want to project itself as just another NGO or a non-profit organization, but it wants to announce itself as an impact organization that is committed 24-7 to impacting the lives of underprivileged children. The children who join Spooty are largely from rural and sub-urban areas studying in government schools. Before these children are brought to Spooty's care, a thorough background check is conducted in order to assess their needs and potential. But apart from sports, there are a lot of other interests that our children show, especially painting and dancing. Both are more or less passion and obsession for a lot of children. Uh, painting, we have a very good number of uh, children who are good at painting. So we we encourage them from time to time to, to draw and paint. And it, it gives a lot of joy and happiness to children to to see their painting for themselves and show them to visitors and friends. Uh, and dance, I mean by default we encourage everybody to dance because we see it as a way of making a child transform from an introvert to an extrovert. When children dance in groups, all their inhibitions are shed. They're no more shy and diffident. There's a lot of camaraderie that is built when they see a lot of other children dancing in coordination and harmony. The children are taught skills such as dance, painting and music and are encouraged to do well in their academic and co-curricular activities. The organization has an in-house maintenance system where an older child acts as a guide and mentor for the younger ones. Fortunately, we have been receiving a good amount of support in, in terms of health. We have two local doctors, um, very friendly doctors, where, who, who treat our children uh, without charging any consultation fee. And, and there are a lot of uh, people who donate uh, medicines to us. So essentially, um, the, the cost of healthcare has come down drastically in the, in the recent times. Regular medical camps for general, dental and eye checkup are organized by friends and volunteers. Meditation and breathing exercises with professional help from organizations such as Art of Living Foundation are also provided. We try to inculcate a very high sense of self-esteem, hope and confidence. Because uh, when we as children or when we finish our studies and we have had brief periods of unemployment or some problem, we had our parents to take care of. But these children unfortunately do not enjoy the luxury of a brief period of parental care. So the moment they leave this place, they have to be very competitive. And we have to keep in, uh, this particular issue in mind all the time. So the moment this, they leave this place, they have to be absorbed by the market. So to reach that position, we have to make them skillful, knowledgeable and confident. The government has recognized Sporty's contribution to society by allotting it three acres of land in Dundigal village in Hyderabad, where the foundation plans to set up a residential facility for 300 children along with the school. Our mission is, is fairly simple, to support underprivileged children and make them cherished citizens of India. They have to be responsible, they have to be exemplary in their behavior, they have to inspire confidence and trust in, in other people. We want, we want to create uh, people with character and competence. Sporty's mission is to change the lives of children who are orphaned or homeless. They are provided with long-term care in an environment which helps them grow into self-reliant individuals. For further information, you can contact... Short break from the other.